Hello YouTube, this is The Hobbyist and today in this video I would like to talk to you about a fan art that I have been making for the game Animal Crossing New Horizon and this game it had provided me with a lot of entertainment and just a very structured gameplay routine during this trying pandemic time in terms of doing a very brief review of the game I quite like the graphics of the game I, I really like the crisp 3D models of this game and I, I feel like uh, throughout the generations from GameCube to N64 and uh, 3DS they had really perfected the unique very cute wholesome art style as we have seen in the latest entry New Horizon and I would say that this game is perfect in terms of providing you with some daily tasks to perform Every day you just open up your Nook Miles and locate the tasks that yield the most reward for the day and complete them and talk to your animals. In terms of this kind of not a whole lot of brain involvement, this kind of mindless grinding, this game is perfect so that you have a very structured routine to perform in this video game. However, for somebody who like me who really values the story aspect of a game, this game doesn't really offer a whole lot in that perspective. And one thing that I didn't quite like about this game is that I understand the ultimate end game for this game is to treat it as your sandbox for you to implement your own design. However, a lot of the custom furnitures, the recipes for you to DIY all those custom furnitures and um, set pieces because there's no catalog containing all the obtainable in-game items for you to you know pick and choose to come up with your own design beforehand um, a lot of the times your interior design is just a mismatch of a lot of the you know random items that you are able to obtain by doing the daily tasks and because of that a lot of times when i watch other people's island tours it's, it makes me feel very frustrated because you know, comparing to their very elegant design containing all of the same set pieces it pains me to look at my you know island which contains a lot of the mismatch items that we have talked before so that's my probably only gripe against this game and moving back to the subject matter of the fan art that we are talking about today i just found it very interesting that the whole you know borrowing money from tom nook and doing activities and chores to pay back the debt i just found it very interesting that this borderline illegal message this loan shark you know mafia business infiltration tactic has been retained throughout all the generations of animal crossing and you can even see that in terms of the girth of the scale of the t uh, character tom nook he is becoming more and more prominent and he is just looking like a major mafia boss in in this particular in the latest entry which is new horizon and sometimes when i'm you know working my ass off to provide better transportation for the island's dwellers and i incur more, more and more debt by trying to improve the quality of life for my residents i sometimes think behind my back like late in the evening tom nook and his trusted secretary is about they must be conspiring against the player which is me and scheming to siphon more money more fun from my hard work and that gave the idea for me to come up with this fan art and as you can see the subject matter of this painting is tom nook and isabel just sitting late at night in their office discussing scheming to come up with new plans to calm my money and in terms of the technique you can see that I first started with a pencil drawing with Tom Nook sitting behind the desk and I first intended the desk to be a mahogany all the way to the floor kind of heavy office desk but later I decided to just replace it with a simple desk with a plank on top supported by four posts so that you can see the characters from below their waist i think that makes the whole image to be more visually appealing and um, i dressed tom nook up in this green italian suit and dressed isabel in this very typical generic red dress i didn't put a whole lot of effort into 
designing the clothing of the two characters. And in terms of the office, I planted a tropical looking planter to lively up the whole, you know, scenery. And um, they have a very nice view looking out the window, looking at the lake. And on the desk, we have a desk lamp because I wanted the, the whole image, the whole composition to be more atmospheric so that when you have a strong light source, which is the lamp on the desk and juxtaposing that with the overall darker tone of the office i think that makes the whole image more interesting to look at and in the background you have a safe which contains bags and bags of belts and underneath the safe there is a bookshelf which i think is fitting to tom nook's character if we envision tom nook as this you know conniving cold-hearted business loan shark then it makes sense for him to be you're reading tons and tons of books on business in his free time and in terms of the color I just wanted to go after a more of a watercolor painterly style and um, that's pretty much all I have to say about this video please comment like and subscribe if you found this video to be interesting and I'll be uploading more and more video game related to be more specific switch video game related fan arts on this channel and with that said, I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye-bye.